country music. My dog, I went fishing. Welcome back everyone, Joe here. Hope everyone's doing well. It's currently February 18th. It's 25 degrees with a high of 60. Gotta love North Carolina. Uh, it's it's 7.53, I'm heading to my parents' house. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a bunch of that brush that I have laying down. I'm gonna try to snip it down to a little bit more manageable sizes and burn it today and then uh, keep moving down that line and then go back tomorrow and do it. What I'm trying to do is some, uh, something a little different with the channel. I wanna go a little bit more vlog style with where I'm into day to day instead of um, uploading Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I just wanna do a little bit more of that and try to, I don't know, something different. I, I wanna try to do something different. So um, I also have an Amazon affiliation link on the bottom of the channel now you'll see on the bottom of the description. I'm gonna be 100% transparent with everybody. That money that I make off of that will hit my business account. Amazon will only deposit the funds once it reaches $100 and then it'll go. What I would like to do is I'm gonna take 50% of those proceeds and put them towards merchandise, as in uh, hats, shirts, and stuff like that that I would love to send out to you guys. And uh, then the other 50%, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, food for the less fortunate. We're gonna put them in boxes, figure uh, five, $10 boxes worth of food, try to help out, drop them off to our local um, Suboxone Methadone and or um, shelters, less fortunate shelters or homeless shelters. And uh, try to help out that way. My parents do it, Monique and I do it, but uh, what I wanna do is take those funds and do that. Now this will probably be the first and last time I'll ever mention that again, because that's something we do anonymously. I'm not looking or bragging about anything. That's not how that is. I'm just gonna be 100% transparent with you guys. Um, I had that link up for a week so far, and it doesn't show me who, but whoever purchased the uh, Built Hard Chainsaw off of the Amazon Amazon link in the description. Thank you very much. Uh, the, it was, my commission was $3.08, and uh, that's fantastic. So thank you guys so much, whoever did that. So, um, you know, we're just gonna let that build and build and build and go from there. But enough of that. What we're gonna do now is, like I said, I'm on my way to my parents' house now. I got you guys hooked up on uh, the GoPro tripod uh, clamp thing, so I had to have both hands. I'm gonna go get myself a cup of coffee, head over there, and um, oh, I also purchased uh, three bags of charcoal. I was in Walmart, and one of the bags were uh, busted up, so I, I took two perfect match light bags to the counter with the one busted up bag, and I asked the manager, it doesn't hurt to ask, I said, hey, what do you guys do for busted up bags? I'll purchase it if you put it on a discount. So originally they were like $10.98 and they gave it to us for $3, it was a weird number, it was like $3.61, I don't understand the number, it was a weird number, but uh, yeah, so I got three bags, so um, I'm going to go ahead, lay out that charcoal because it worked really well once we actually got it lit, and cut that brush up to more manageable sizes and see what I can get burnt from 8 o'clock to... Uh, Probably somewhere around 2, 2.15, 2 2.30. Just because Alex has basketball today at 4. He's uh, Him and his team are going to... They're in the playoffs right now for a run for the championship. So uh, he's really, really excited. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this kind of style. A little bit different. But we'll see. If you don't, let me know. Please let me know. If you do, please let me know. Either way, I'm fine with it. I just want to try something different. Change it up a little bit. It doesn't hurt. I like change. I like the uncomfortableness of change. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Right, guys welcome back here to anchorage alaska or better known as uh north carolina it's just freezing out what i'm going to do is take these pieces of wood make them into a box on the ends fill it with charcoal 
fill it with charcoal, fill it with charcoal, put the boxes on top, brush, light it up, and hopefully it takes off. In my head, this is gonna work out perfect. Guarantee you probably isn't, but we'll we'll check it out. Let's get to building. This is the busted bag I was telling you guys about from Walmart. All right, right now I'm just going to try to feed it, get it going nice and good, and then just keep adding to it as we go here. The ground is completely soaked. I'm stepping into mud piles, and I'm going down about a, about a quarter of an inch to an inch down, so it's, it's pretty saturated over here. A lot of you guys mentioned putting a blower too, so here's my Craftsman V20 electric blower. Oh, making it happen. This is the best fire I ever had so far. I'm gonna throw these two bad boys on top. Hopefully they'll start drying out real good and breaking down and uh, get that fire really going. I got about five hours of burning time, so I think we should be able to get through a lot of this brush behind me. I think these are just regular little hand shears here. And these ones right here, I got these a long time ago. Uh, it's their bigger ones, but uh, hey, just a shout out to them. Check this out. Hope you guys can see that. See how it's not straight? It's busted up. I ran this over with, the, uh, with my truck and that's the only damage it took. And it was actually sitting on, on my parents' driveway. They have like these on the end of it. It's almost like a culvert or it's built up like a lip, like a curb, so the water could flow in down into drainage. Uh, it was it was leaning up on an angle, and I drove over it, and I hit it, and that's really the only damage. I mean, 
they may not work as great but um man they make a good piece of uh, equipment here i'm gonna you know use it and then when it finally does go i'll just get a new pair but as of right now it's still pretty strong i'm gonna make two piles a pile with the smaller stuff here and then with the thicker main branches on the ends and then what i'll do is i'll throw them all on top they'll burn down instead of having these long 15 foot pieces i think that should definitely help out i don't want a, a raging 50 foot fire so i'm gonna take care of these now and then uh, we'll go back good this is the best fire i've had so far with building the sides up throwing that charcoal in so what i'm going to do is keep breaking down the stuff up there as you guys see i'll take you up there right now with these piles i broke them down a lot uh i, I was throwing like eight ten foot pieces on there and then i'd have to keep going back and moving them and get back and then get closer and closer to the fire i'm not really trying to do that so i have them broken up to about two and a half three foot sizes even smaller in here in clusters that i can grab i gotta get this tomorrow burn all that burn all this too in here but I have everything that I have so far as you guys see a lot of the stuff isn't that big if you guys have any um, recommendations as to what chipper I should look into not only for my tractor uh, right now I don't I'll be honest with you, I don't have it uh, my wife Monique she's in uh, she's in nursing school right now so uh, she's working full-time in nursing school I'm not gonna go and spend three thousand dollars on a chipper when that money can go to paying off uh, nursing school so I'm looking at possibly either renting or demoing a smaller chipper, even if it's one of those little uh, gas power ones that you put on, you know, you, you start up like a lawnmower, you leave it there and it doesn't take anything bigger than two or three inches, not, nothing crazy. Uh, I would probably speed this all up. I have a ton of this area that needs to be done. A ton of these little saplings like here, these, like you guys can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like we could just keep going in this whole area that could just get fed into a chipper, uh, into a chipper and made into a, a really good review video if you guys are interested. If you have any companies that you're looking into or you're thinking of, let me know down below and I'll reach out to them, see if they'd like me to do a demo, a few videos on it. Cause I have, um, well, from the house all the way to the back of the creek going down all the way in i mean there's acres of what i'm trying to get cleared out and and moved out of here and cleaned up in here uh, i'm going to take down the little ones first and then i'm going to come back in and take down the bigger ones the bigger ones i'm not too worried about because i could cut the i could cut most of it up and burn it and then get rid of the tops with the machine so what i want to do is get rid of these little guys first like like these ones here that i could just feed right into a chipper and be done with it instead of having to make these little piles and and do what I'm doing now but that's where I'm gonna end I'll see you guys in the morning okay, so we're back it's the next day I got the Coleman running out there because it's freezing out again I just got to make the goat food real quick uh, it's mixing sunflowers and they're I don't know it's, uh, I don't know what goat food is I'll, I'll show you it's nothing crazy but I got to take that down there it's like 10 pounds of this five pounds of this three pounds of that this that and this that mix it all together do one of these and then I'm going to let them out, feed them, give them order, and let them out while I'm cleaning up, making another fire. This is how you tell how many pounds you're doing here. So we got sweet feet, 25 pounds. None of these have food in it, so I guess I'm filling everything up and making their food. Six 
pounds of that, 10 pounds of Timothy pellets, two pounds of beef pulp shreds, three pounds of sunflower, Some of you are, you know, really into farm animals and stuff like that. I'm just gonna give it to you real. I'm not a real animal person by any means. This, I don't understand why my mom has goats. I don't really understand it at all. Um, but yeah, she likes it. I personally strongly dislike most animals. I already touched it, it's cool. There's nothing there, it's like cold to the touch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Two of those piles again, fill with charcoal, start burning, start bringing this stuff over, and hopefully in the next three or four hours, I'll get that out of the way too. And then um, what I would like to start doing, I have marking tape. I'm gonna go along and mark the trees that I definitely want down in the area. Uh, and then I'll come back later on after this is cleared and taken out. I'm really trying to get myself a chipper here. I went online uh, to see what's available on Marketplace, if not available for me to purchase via like a store, like Tractor Supply, something like that. But um, I'm just trying to spend a few hundred dollars on a chipper, nothing crazy, something that's gonna take stuff like this, like I said yesterday. So that way, at least I don't have to sit here and burn. I could just fire it up and start running it through and chip and move, and I could really move a lot faster than this. Oh, love baby. If you guys hear me jamming out, it's usually like 90s party freestyle music because uh, well, I'm going to be honest with you, I listen to basically everything but country. I do not like country music. Here's the Kingston Matchlight Charcoal. half a bag what are you eating? What are you eating? charcoal get out of here all right now we light her up And the reason I don't like country music is it always sounds like the guy's crying about something. Like, my dog, my cat, I went fishing, my first love, my first kiss, was my first cousin. I don't, I don't like it. Shake your boots. Eat some fruits. That's what it sounds like. Oh, the love. 
I'm gonna get all this stuff cut up into smaller chunks like I have over there, separated into smaller branches and then bigger, I guess, poles or whatever you want to call them, bigger stuff like we got going on over here, the trunk of the trees, uh, so that I could go ahead and burn that. I have this all in here that I gotta get done, hopefully in the next hour so I can get this all kind of ready and prepped. And then uh, depending on how this fire is doing, as of right now, it's, it's, it's a great looking fire. That charcoal method with that box and that wood out works phenomenal. You guys will see it on the time lapse. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, get this kind of cleaned up so that we can walk through it, have piles ready, and hopefully I can get it all burnt down within the next week or so. But I have so much more to go along this way here. So um, I think a wood chipper, or maybe even as much as I don't wanna rent a wood chipper, I'm probably gonna have to rent one out for the weekend or so, and um, maybe a bigger one so I could actually take down some of these bigger trees and feed it through too, and just kind of kill two birds at one stone. We'll see. So all I have left right now is that one brush pile there. There's another brush pile. There's three of those brush piles at the tops of the trees. And then I have about four more log piles that are gonna get broken up to smaller ones so I can burn it. I'm gonna let this pile kind of burn down for the next two or three hours before I have to go get the kids off the bus. I'm not gonna add any more. I'm just gonna kind of condense it, let it really get down to some coals and then let it uh, kind of smother itself out. I'm gonna take the backpack blowers now. I'm gonna run it on this hillside, get as much of these leaves out of here as I can really clear out this area from where I started all the way to where I ended. I still have a ton of work to get done down here. This is just gonna be at the end of this video. There's only so much of the watching me do the same exact thing over and over in this area that I, I really am doing. I'm hoping to get my tractor started up the first time in about five months now. Get it down here, I'll use the grapple. I'll get all these leaves that you see along this area here. I'm gonna take all them and throw them in the back on those uh, giant hulu cultures. But before I do that, I'm probably gonna get some sort of wildflower, wild seeds, throw it in there, like just hand toss it in those piles of wood, uh, in those piles of trees that we have back there. And then add these leaves on top of that. I'm not burning leaves. Um, I'm really not that great at burning, so I'm not gonna even bother with that. But uh, this is really where it's at.
So here's a fire from a few hours ago. I'm letting it smolder out right now. That's why I have that big log sitting up. I spread it all out nice and even, or as even as I can get it to kind of let it just die down. I'm gonna go up and take a shower. By the time I'm done with that, I'm, that's gonna be basically out. I got these piles in here that are left to burn. That's probably one good solid eight hour day of being here. That's the goat and uh, and burning where I don't have to rush out of here before a certain time. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna cut these up to decent sizes, probably cut some of this stuff up too. Anything between that size and this size, I'm probably gonna cut up, that's the goat again, between uh, probably three, three feet to four foot, so I can fit through this trail here, get it to the back and stack it. I don't know how much of this I'm gonna actually keep burning. I'm gonna grab a few pallets and put them up towards the top of the property line, up top here, and put some brush on top of that for them to make some rabbit tats out of those. I'm gonna take down all these little twigs and stuff in here these little whips get rid of these guys that are in here look at this pile of wood that's been here we were told there was a pile of wood we always thought it was this little guy right here not knowing that this was all under those leaves so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the tractor and grab as much of this as i can too and bring that towards the back and dump that this pile of leaves i'm going to grab that with the tractor along with everything else that i could blow down from the hillside and or blow off to the side that's not really going to be in the way now this is probably going to tweak some people that are watching or, or you know make them unhinged but just listen to me before you start going crazy i'm going to take down about 90 percent of all these trees in here and by trees I'm, I'm talking about like these little guys that i'm counting as trees this here this right here this little guy this cluster this right here all these little guys in here these things right here like that like this like this these guys and then uh, most of the bigger trees are all going to stay. Anything like this size is going to stay. This is a beautiful tree. I, I mean, I don't personally know if it is or not, but I like it. It's not hurting nothing, but I'm going to thin them out. So there's no reason to have as many next to each other like this cluster right here. There's too many. Down there is perfect. They're all kind of spread apart. Now, this is a south facing hill. Now I have 72 sawtooth oak seeds in my fridge right now doing a cold stratification i also have about a hundred chestnut trees uh, chestnut seeds doing a cold stratification and i'm trying to get my hand on a few parsimon trees along with more apple trees that i want to do and I, what i'm thinking is is taking down all these non-fruit bearing trees or just like this this tree does nothing like there's all these they're everywhere i don't know it's like a sweet gum beach gum it's a waste i'm going to take all of them out and they're everywhere Look, the whole thing is them. I'm gonna let the sun really penetrate the ground in here, let it grow up all the natural forbs, forage, grasses, all that other stuff. I'm gonna let it come up in here too. But I would like to make this a whole bunch of fruit trees along, basically from the edge here where the fire is, along there, all the way working our way back. This is close to 275 yards straight back. So if this canopy is open, I think we could really have some really good fruit trees uh, for the wildlife and for us too. I mean, we'll grab some stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is going to be the end of this. I think this is a two or three day video here. I'm going to stop it at this point. Uh, we're not getting rain for another few days. So I'm going to not be burning until the ground really saturates again. That over there is starting to really dry out the fire. The radiant heat is really drying out the leaves around it and the ground around it. So I don't want to keep burning for no reason. I don't want an issue. So I'm going to get that out and uh, head out so i hope you guys enjoyed if you do enjoy this stuff if you guys don't mind if you can hit that like button subscribe my name is joe uh, i'd love to have you back and we're down here at my parents six acre property in north carolina if you like videos like this i'll put a link right here for a video when we did the other burn pit a few weeks ago thanks bye